What's up, YouTube? It's Toron, and today we're going to play some Cube World. Uh, picked it up recently. I was playing around it as a mage just to kind of see how I like the game, and I really, I really enjoy it. Uh, but I wanted to create a character with you guys here. Uh, we're going to create a human and male. The races we have are human, elf, this little dwarf looking dude, which looks really terrible, an orc, a goblin, a lizard, an undead, a frogman, or a human. And since Torhan, which is my character name, is normally a human, that's what we're going to go with. And his class that he had, that I've... Torhan's a character in a book that I'm writing. And he's always an assassin or a rogue type class. So we're going to go with the rogue. Um, we're going to go with... Um, let's see... I think we'll go with that face. And we need to give him a different haircut, though. Darker hair. And we're going to go with... I think we're going to go with this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that one. Alright, and Torhan. And then we're going to create a new world to play in. We're going to call this new world the Realm of Torhan. And let's see. I think that's a good random seed. Actually, let's think of a good seed here. Has to be numbers. So maybe my birthday, my wife's birthday, and our. I think that's good enough. My birthday, the wife's birthday. Alright, there we go. And... Where's the create button? It is a number, right? Yeah, it's a number, but it's not giving me the option to create the world. All right. Oh, I put the seed in the name in the wrong spot. I'm not even paying attention. This is where the name goes. Alright. Woo! Now it's generating the world. Might have actually pay attention to the screen, right? Okay. This shouldn't take too long to generate the initial world. We, what we need right now is some Jeopardy music playing as we're waiting. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's see. Check out our map. Oh, the village is there behind us. See, the, here, here's the village. And then beyond it, the little double swords, they represent dungeons. And we got one there and there. And there's actually more than the one village in the world. You just have to run quite a ways to get to the different villages I've found. And you want to pick up everything you come across, because uh, crafting in this game is uh, is a big part. I've noticed, like uh, you can create, um, you can craft yourself armor, you can craft yourself weapons, you can also craft uh, potions. You can create food as you go that can help you heal uh, when you want to, when you have time to heal. So it's a good idea to pick up the stuff that you come across. And I don't know that I have the strength to take on those guys just yet. Oh, they're a good group. Ha, ah, sweet. I like you all. Sweet. And uh, these here, you can sleep on a bed. On these little bed things here, you can sleep on those to recover your health if you've uh, taken damage. Uh, 
or if you go to a city you can sleep in an inn and in the inn it'll actually change it from daytime to nighttime at, at some of them I've noticed this uh, that I don't know what sometimes I've slept in an inn and it didn't change it and I'm not sure why maybe I didn't talk to the innkeeper or something um, but yeah you can sleep in an inn and change it to day which is kinda handy if you don't want to run around at night uh, and then at the cities, you also run into, um, in the cities you have uh, the, the stores where you can buy stuff. And you also have, uh, let's see, what is that over there? Oh, we can take it out. Uh, you can buy stuff in the stores. You can get new armor. You can get, uh, sweet. Armor. You can get stuff for. You can get bottles for making more potions. Um, you can also uh, get foods. You can tame pets if you haven't found some on the wild. Uh, there's all sorts of things you can get when you explore. This is the formula for a uh, flawless gold ring. Very nice. We can actually craft that later uh, when we get to. Uh, when we get to a city, we can actually craft things. Um, let's see. A flawless gold ring would give us 1.4% tempo and 0.8% 0 .8, 0 .8 crit. But what we're currently wearing already gives us 0.3 and 0.8. So it's not necessarily better, but we can still craft it. Which is really cool. I, I happen to like the crafting system they've implemented in this game. It's really, really kind of cool they're able to do stuff. And then these is where we get wood logs from. And uh, you, can, you I haven't noticed that this class really uses wood. I know the mage uses wood to create uh, their weapons. Uh, but the rogue uses cotton and iron to make their weapons and cotton for their clothes is what I read online. Uh, so we'll find out as we're playing through. Oh, here's a road. And there's a village all the way down there. So I really, I really find it fun. It's, it's different from what I've played, but I really like the graphic style. I like the way the game flows. Um, I think they've done a really good job with the game, and I, I find myself playing this quite a bit right now. And I wanted to share it with you guys out there. Angor City. Yeah, nice. So let's see, the city goes over that way, and it goes this way. There's a crafting district, normally an adventurer's district. And I wonder if those are good guys or bad guys. If they're baddies, I'm going to take them out. Baddies! Oh, got to take out this guy first. Oh, they're going to kill me. Drink your potion, drink your potion. Get some help. Get some help. Aw, oh, they killed me. Mah. Uh, I think they're over this now. Every time you resurrect, you come to one of these statues, and it's never near where you die. It's lame. I'm not even going to get back there in time. Wait, let's check the map. Oh, we got to go that way. Let's see if we can get back there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Run, 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 run. I wish there was a way I could, like, sprint to run faster, but apparently you can get... You can get to the point where you can ride your pets. You can get ride pets. Uh, or not necessarily ride the pet. You can get to the point where you can ride an animal. I'm not sure if it's your pet you ride or if you have to go get a special pet to ride. Either way, you can eventually ride ride an animal or you can hang glide. If you get the hang glider and you have the skill for hang gliding. Alright, I have no idea where I was at. I'll gather these up while I'm here though. These are pumpkins. Probably can't even use them yet, but I'm going to get them anyways. Come on, where you be? 
I want to kill you guys for messing with me. It's a kitty. Hi, kitty. Okay, it wasn't that way. Am I even going the right way? We need to go this way. I'm looking for the squares that I have already been to. Because it's going to be one of those is where we find those guys we were just killing. Oh, it's probably right over here. Is this it? Maybe. Yeah, this looks... Yep, here it is. There's those freaking tools. Alright, how are we going to do this? Alright, run, 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 run. Go, go, go. Let's go to this big group over here. Keep chasing me. Keep chasing me. Let's go get that last one. Uh, not you. Alright, so we only gotta kill the little caster dude now. Unless he got killed with us, but I don't see him. Oh, Mr. Caster guy, where you at? So either we took him out and he followed us, or... Uh, yeah, I think we actually killed him with that group. Sweet! Alright, we got our revenge. But now, we have... Um, we have a little bit of copper, so let's go see if we can buy ourselves at least a better weapon, maybe, or something? Uh, and I, I hit the V key to turn on the health bars and the names of things, so it's easier to see them from further away. So here's an inn where we can sleep if we needed to, which our health is a little low, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, let's get in close. Here's the stairs. Oh, I fail. Alright, come on. And if you notice, the health bar goes up. Sweet, all healed. Now you can take fall damage and stuff uh, in this game if you fall from too far a height, but it's not it's not too bad normally. I mean, normally you can you can do it where you land on the different cliff edges and you're all right. All right. Oh, here's a uh, weapon shop. Let's go see what he has for sale. All right. Do you have a better dagger? A plain iron dagger. We can't use till we level. That's fine. Um, these are different weapons that you can use, which give you different types of attacks. I like the daggers so far. I haven't tried these other ones yet. Maybe we should try those and see if we, which ones we like more. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna. We're going to try these and see which ones we like better. So that's just as a punch. I don't know what the big attack is for that. So that's just a punch. Um, his, his big attack could be maybe a double punch or something. Or what happens if you use both weapons like this. I don't want to use that wrong button. Alright, we'll have to go find something to kill to figure it out, but I need to find the item shop so we can buy ourselves some more uh, glass vials so that way we can make ourselves some more potions because those come in handy. 
So, oh, here's the metal working dude. This is the guy you come to to work your, to make your weapons and to smelt your iron and stuff. Uh, there's also a guy that you go to, to to do your logs and another one that has a loom and a, a wheel for doing your cloth work. And we have to go to the loom and wheel guy to make any more armor for our guy. Alright. Where's the building I want? There's a sword shop. Where's our potions dude? Nope, not adventure district. Uh, here we go, we can practice on a... Uh... Alright, so it does a double hit with the dagger. So let's see what happens when we're using both of these. Interesting. That's kind of cool. He hits really fast and there's a backhand attack. I'll have to try that against a, a mob. Let's see what happens when we use a double sword. He does a straight attack, huh? Alright, so that's kind of cool too. I think I want to go with these though. No, 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 pick it up. I want to go with these, uh, fist punching things and try those against uh, a creature and see if we do any better. There's an inn. Alright, where's my potion shop? Dang it. Or my item shop. Trade district. Ah, here it is. Sweet! Alright. You! I need some of these. Alright, and let's see. Waffle, huh? We'll get a waffle in case we run into the uh, creature we can give that to. Alright, and we'll get the cotton chest formula. Score! Now we come here. Go to items. We can learn that. Now if we go to crafting. So we need to find ourselves some emerald nuggets and we can make ourselves this cloth armor which has more HP, more armor it adds to your crit, your tempo and your reg, whatever that is which adds more than that alright so let's go explore some more alright actually let's see I think we're going to go to that, those daggers there, which I'm pretty sure, yeah, is this way. And I'm not sure what pet a waffle will let us tame. Actually, give me a minute. I'm going to check on the, see if we can figure out what pet a waffle tames, and I'll get back with you guys in just a moment. Alright, um, it looks like a waffle might be what they use to tame a terrier with. And you normally find those around town. So, let's equip our little, our treat here. See if we can, oop, there we go. See the heart grown? You give it the right food and it tames it. And now we have a pet terrier. And he will fight and defend us. Yay! I saw a thingy above her head. Alright, let's check the map out. Oh! Well, finally, we're gonna go to the fortress. So we're gonna go over there to the uh, forest and see what that's all about. So, we're gonna go this way instead. Hopefully we can pick up a few supplies, find a couple caves with some iron and some emeralds. So we can make ourselves some better armor. That way we're not running around with uh, nothing. Oh wait, you know maybe, actually, why we're here, 
Let's see if we can find the armor guy who's right next to... Alright. Do you have anything I can wear right now? Gloves? Oh, I can't get the shoulders yet. Maybe if I sell some stuff. Alright, can I get those? How much do I have? 13. And they're 15, huh? Alright. We have no more money, but we have some more armor. Sweet. Now we'll have a better chance of living. Let's go kill some stuff. Alright, so we gotta go... this way. Yeah, you can see my shoulders are a little bulkier now because I have armor. Yeah! Alright. But I, I recommend, if you guys like this type of game, the RPG element, the leveling element, if you guys like that type of game, um, I think you guys would enjoy this. So, you know, try it out. See, you know, give it a shot. I I wasn't sure if I'd like it or not. I know I like these type of games, but I wasn't sure if I'd like this one. And then I tried it, and I was like, hooked. So, give it a shot. I think you will enjoy it. Alright, campfire. You also got to use a campfire to cook food, um, but we can't make any of these because we don't have the ingredients for it, but that's you use a campfire to cook your food. Oh, hey, those guys are bad guys. Yeah, I don't know if I should take on a group of three of those. Just Oh, wait, I have a puppy now. Come here, uglies. Oh, wow. Oh! Alright, where's it spawn me at? <laughs> Alright. I gotta go back and see if I can find those guys. Cause I wanna get my revenge. Alright. Well, we gotta go this way, so they're probably back this way. Oh well. I'm not gonna worry about them. Let's go, puppy! I wish you could name your pet after you've, like, gotten the pet. I wish you could name it. Hey, look, now we can make ourselves some ginger stuff. And that one. Uh, the red ones are good for uh, potions, which we need to find ourselves some water, like this one here. So we can jump in and... Because we got to make water bottles, and water bottles need water. And we'll make these, and then we'll make some potions... Because uh, the potions come in handy when you're fighting or going to dungeons. Uh, you can drink those while you're running, where food you have to sit and eat. So potions are good because you can do those while you're running away from things. Alright, and potions. We have enough to make two. And as we get some more of those uh, red flowers, we can make ourselves more potions. Wait. I thought I saw a group of guys or something. And... oh hey. That goes into a canyon that could be dangerous for our health.
Looks like my game is froze. All right, you guys, I'm back. For some reason my game froze there on us, and uh, not quite sure why. So there's a village we're coming from. And it's taking time to load. So we'll give this just a minute here. I'm pretty sure the forest we wanted to go to was this way. Yeah, we are heading towards these big mountain things here. The bubble doesn't freeze again. That was weird. Alright. Wow. Some of the terrain generation in this is just awesome. Alright, turn on a little light here, see if we can find ourselves anything of import. Aurocor Canyon. Yeah, I think that's how you pr would pronounce that, maybe? I don't know. Alright, there's nothing underneath there. Just darkness. These guys are... Oh, wow. They just kicked my trash. And they kicked my trash, too. Wow. Oh, hey. They started me near a cave, though. Alright. Is there anything in here? Like some iron? Man, nothing. Not a darn thing. Alright, fine. Maybe there's another cave on the other side here. Oh, there we go. Maybe this one has something I can... I can use. Oh, hey, look. Little glowy thing. Oh, it's back. I think I'm going to switch to my daggers. Because even though those are quick, I just don't feel like I'm doing the damage I should be. Alright. And of course... Seriously, no iron or nothing. Wow. I feel gypped, you guys. Feel gypped. There's nothing. You lie to me. Alright, fine. We'll just continue on the road. Try and find this forest. Alright. Let's check our map now. Yeah, we gotta keep going this way, past this to get to the forest. Alright. Oh, that hurt. Run away! I wonder, am I going the wrong way or the right way? Oh, I don't remember coming up anything to get to there, so I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way. Nothing behind me is red. It's going to hurt if I stop to try to kill it. Leave me alone! You too! Don't attack me! I didn't do it! Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Keep going! Keep going, buddy! Run for your life! Am 
my poor dog's already dead. Run for your life. Stop chasing me. Stop it. All right. All right, we're safe now. Whew. All right. Hate that. You're all getting chased and you start holding your breath like, Stop. Don't. Do it. Leave me alone. Now those moles are even going to kill me if I try to attack them. Wait. Yeah, let's try it. Ha! There we go. That's right. I can take you out. Come on, go! Alright, yeah! That didn't hurt too much either. Nice. We're gonna leave those guys alone though. Red name, probably not a good idea to go after. Alright, now where's this forest we're looking for? We're looking for forest. Forest of badness. I hear it. Where's it at? Oh, it's over there. This is what you get for attacking an innocent dog, jerk. Alright, the forest of badness has to be over here somewhere. Because it was just past those, um, those mountains, or that valley, I guess you could say. Maybe we're lucky and this dirt road will lead us right to it. If you guys heard that, that is my phone telling me I have a message. Is it safe to sleep here? It is. Regenerate my health real fast. He's a friendly. Thank goodness. Let's go ahead and turn off notifications on my phone. Okay, and... Let's keep exploring. Alright, we're in some funky forest here. Ginseng. Ginseng is good. We can make ourselves some soup. Oh, I should have done that at the, uh, when I stopped just a minute ago. Alright, this doesn't look like it's the right area. I wonder if I have to go back to... Well, let's go try those pine-looking trees over here. I wonder if I should go back to the village and get the quest again. Maybe that, when I uh, lost, maybe when it froze, it lost the quest information, and then it lost. Hi, kitty. Maybe. I'm not quite sure. If I can't find it soon, I'll go ahead and I'll uh, stop recording momentarily while I go find it, and then get back with you guys once I found the forest. Look at the rabbits. Gotta kill you bunnies. Sorry, I need the experience. You're cute and fluffy, but you're good experience. Good experience. Two apiece. Come on, die. Sorry, Mr. Bunny Rabbit. Alright. So, let's see where we're at on the map. Oh, we're going the right way. Never mind. Haha! -ha. Score! And it looks like... There's a group of uglies. That I don't want to fight, because they're next to a bunch of red guys. 
Yeah, we'll skip them. And we'll skip them too. Oh! Looks like the forest is full of uglies. Oh, werewolves. Potion! Oh, come on, you have potions! Crap, 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 crap! I don't have time for this! Puppy, start killing it! Kill it! Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! Alright. I thought I made potions. Oh, when it grrr. All right. We need to find some water quick. Um, back that way. Apparently, when we lost the game earlier, it also lost me making potions. Which means we need to find a water source to make potions. Yay. So what I think I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get I'm gonna get us a little more prepared and then we're gonna go explore the forest and kill some stuff. So that's what we're gonna do in the next episode. I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. I'm gonna go get us some water bottles. Uh, I'm gonna grind us out through at least level two. And then we're gonna go and explore that forest. Uh, I'm gonna go find us some more bunny rabbits to kill and stuff. And then um, we'll go explore that forest and see about whatever the big boss baddie is there and kill some more werewolves and stuff and then go to the next dungeon or figure out where the next village is at or something uh, either way though I'm gonna go and get us a little more prepared for this because right now I think we would get slaughtered alright and then once we're more prepared, then I will come back to you guys and we will continue on. But anyways, thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys liked the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you like the videos that you see. Otherwise, And hope everybody's having a great day. Take care, everybody. Peace.